Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at Option Alpha. And so after the last video that we did on the new portfolio analyzer, a lot of people have been asking questions on how to actually go about adding tags to positions and how to do that automatically so you can tag the state in which the bot opened the position or the environment or any other things you want that would be critical to analyzing the position. So I figured I'd do that on my own portfolio and one bot in particular that I run that I can do, frankly, a better job of tagging. So I'm gonna update those tags, show you how I do it in the entire process here in this video. So really quickly, the reason that we're doing this is because, again, you have the ability to analyze your portfolio and your positions based on tags that you have in those positions. And so what's cool about this is you can go in and you can say, hey, look, I only wanna look at only positions that were tagged as a short duration put spread, for example. So put spreads that I traded that were really short in duration, for me, that'd be like 10 days or less. And so how did those positions end up doing? And so, for example, you can see here, like the last year, those positions have made a little bit of money. They had a pretty big drawdown and have just kind of clawed their way back since then. But generally, I think the stats are okay. Profit factor's okay, sharp ratio's okay. You know, like it's actually a decent trade, it just needs a lot more occurrences. There's only been 43 trades. but. If I wanted to add some more of these types of tags or other types of tags, how would I go about that inside of my bot portfolio? Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do to add tags to positions is simply include them inside of your automations or any of your open position actions. So in this case, we're gonna look at the live trendy short put spread, which is a bot that I run, and that's the one that basically tags all of these positions I just showed you as short duration. So I'm gonna add more tags to this bot, not only with the uh, close open position, but also with the close position. So I can basically try to tag it as when it was closed or the environment that it was in. So I'm going to go over to the settings for the bot. And then you can see I have a single scanner automation that is for my short put spreads. And I'm doing a lot of decisions and I eventually get to this open position action. So in this case, when I open up the open position action, I've got all my criteria. I can see it's a short duration. And then right here, this is where you can see that I'm already including the ability to tag this position on trade entry as a short duration put spread. So where that tag was coming from so that I could do the portfolio analysis was actually coming from right here. So I was tagging the position as a short duration put spread. Now what's cool is that I can actually include more tags into this position. So now that I've got the portfolio analyzer, I definitely want to start including more tags so I can analyze other types of environments, not only for this position, but for any other positions that I do. So for example, I am checking here inside of this particular bot, I am checking for the VIX to be below 40 and the ticker symbol to be above the 200 day moving average. So what I might wanna do here is I might wanna say something like low VIX entry. So that would be a new tag that I can create and add to these positions. So if I knew that those positions all were entered because the VIX was below 30, I can tag it as low VIX entry. I could even get more specific. I can say um, like VIX under 40 or something like that and tag it, whatever you wanna do. Whatever tag shows up there that you start using, they'll now be available inside of your portfolio analyzer for future trades. So if I wanna do that or I'll just do low VIX entry. And what I can do is I can go back to other bots that I'm running even different types of strategies and anywhere that I am including a low VIX filter for any position, I can tag those positions as low VIX entry. And what this is gonna give me the ability to do later is give me the ability to see, okay, our positions that I enter, whether they're short duration or long duration, if it matters that they were entered in low VIX entry versus high VIX entry. So I can do that here. I can also add another one for uptrend. So maybe I enter um, maybe uptrend, above, or you can say something even like symbol above 200 day SMA. I mean, you can get really, really specific here with the tags you include. Again, make them very specific to you and how you trade. But again, if I tagged everything that entered with uh, the symbol price above the 200 day moving average, I would put that in here because then I could use that for analysis later on. So this is really cool. I can do this. I can also do other things in here. Like I can say it's a 15 delta. So I can say it's a 15 delta trade. So I can put that in here because the entry here is roughly a 15 delta for the position. So now I have that ability as well. I can, again, check here and reference that it's a 15 delta entry and just add more criteria to the actual underlying position. Once I'm good to go here, I just simply hit save. 
now those are added to any future position that this bob would get into. So again, any future position now would include these tags moving forward for any of those positions. If you actually go to your position log, you can go in here and you can backfill any positions that you have if you wanted to, by just simply opening up the position and then going down to the tag section and then adding those tags. And in this case, you can backfill some of these if you wanted to. For example, like I know that these are all the same types as trades, so I can say the symbol above 200 day moving average, VIX low entry, et cetera, right? And I can add those tags to this position. Then if I go in here for other positions, I can do the same thing as well. You can do this in bulk. You just have to go in and add these two positions manually. But again, this is why you need to include them moving forward inside of your automations. So you just do this as part of your normal course of business with your auto trading and your positions. Okay, so now that I have that, if I go back here to my positions, I can just reload this here and you can see that I can go in here and I can tag I can now see anything that's a 15 delta. So I only tagged a couple positions, those two positions that I had were tagged as a 15 delta, but now I can filter all positions by just positions with that tag. I could also include low VIX entry for any of those positions, right? Or symbol above 200 day moving average or short duration put spread, whatever. I can include all of those that I want here inside of my bot portfolio by just clicking on them here inside of the analyzer. So. It's really, really simple to go through and add some of these tags to open positions. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna jump over into the settings and I'm also gonna add some tags to the other monitor automations. So you don't just have to add tags for positions where just regular positions. You can also add tags if you're hedging. In this case, this bot has the ability to automatically hedge and convert itself essentially into an iron condor, iron butterfly. So inside of here, I'm gonna go here to the open position action for the short call spread. And you can see I've already added a tag called hedge short call spread. And so I can add a tag in here that's also short duration hedge uh, or something like that. So I can see that there was a short duration hedge and I could add other tags if I wanted to also. But this again allows me to see for my analysis of my positions, okay, what short call spreads did I enter? and which ones of those were hedged positions. Now I can analyze the positions that were eventually hedged. Did those hedged positions work out? Did they add to the portfolio? Did I make money on the hedge? Did I not make money on the hedge? I can do that now with the addition of these tags inside of this action. If I go here to the short call spread manager itself, inside of the closed position action, I can again tag that position as a short call spread hedge. Okay, short call hedge. So I know that that's a position that I was managing. There was a short call spread. If I remove the position because the position was above the existing position, I can say something like challenged exit uh, or challenge call spread. I can say challenged exit. I can do all sorts of things if I wanted to, to again, add context to the environment and the conditions in which the position was closed or entered. All of this, again, is then gonna be available for you inside of your portfolio analyzer. So I might add some of these additional things here because that's how the position was closed. It was closed because the position expires in less than one day and the position is above the short call strike. That's how this action would get triggered. So if that's the case, we know it was a short call hedge. We can just remove that one because we had it tagged before, but it was a challenge call spread because the stock was trading above the short strike and it was a challenged exit at expiration to close the position. So however you say that, whatever verbs or terms you use, you can put that in there. And again, it will add that to the position moving forward. So I hope this was really helpful to kind of go through this. As always, if you have any questions, let us know, but please start digging into your stats, your portfolios, start including tags as part of your normal course of business for building out your bots, because it does help you later on be able to analyze positions that you have and environments that work well and don't work well for the different strategies you're running.